Hey everybody, hi and welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to learn about metadata indexing and why would you want to do it in an asynchronous manner. So let's get straight into action. Again, I have a slides and article. So if needed, you can come and read more about it. So let's get started. As we know, the amount of data generated today is growing at an exponential rate. Managing large scale data workloads can be challenging, especially when it comes to processing and querying the data in a timely and an efficient manner. This is where the metadata indexing and asynchronous indexing come into handy. Well, what is metadata indexing? Well, metadata indexing is a mechanism used in Apache Hody to store and manage the metadata about your data set. Metadata indexing enables Hody to quickly access the metadata information such as file path, partition values, and column statistics, etc. This information is used uh, to optimize the query performance and reduce the storage cost by enabling Hody to skip the reading of unnecessary data. Hody supports various uh, index mechanisms including bloom filters, simple indexes, and composite index. Each indexing mechanism has its own advantage and is used to optimize query performance based on a specific use case. So now that we know essentially uh, what, uh, what is metadata indexing and why is it so important, now let's try to understand why or when would you want to do it asynchronously? What are the advantages of doing it in an async manner? So let me basically go to my slides. Asynchronous indexing in Apache Hodi allows metadata and index updates to be processed in a, separately from the main data write operation. Uh, again, so basically your indexing is happening on a separate uh, job, not on the same job. This way, that means basically, you know, you are basically improving the performance by reducing the time needed to complete the main write operation, which makes sense. Um, again, asynchronous indexing also ensures consistency and the data integrity by processing the metadata and index updates separately from the main write operation, preventing the data loss if the main write operation has failed. Again, you're isolating both of them, right? So that basically makes sense. Uh, again, the another one of the, you know, uh, why would you want to do it is basically it provides flexibility in terms of indexing mechanism used, supporting various indexing mechanism, including bloom filter, simple index, and composite index. It also allows you for better resource allocation uh, in the system by enabling resources to be allocated separately for the main write operation and the index update, right? And the main one, the main point that I want to highlight is over here. So I'll put this in a yellow. Asynchronous indexing is particularly uh, useful for large data set with high velocity data stream. So if the data is coming at a very high velocity and you want to essentially write, well, you have to basically, maybe you want to do the compaction, maybe you want to do the cleaning, clustering, everything in an async mode. You don't want to do everything at right time so that you can write the data pretty fast, right? So these are some of the uh, pros, basically, why would you want to do async indexing in Hoodie. Now let's take a look at a small lab to understand this even better. Let me basically show you a small lab, right? So for this demo, what we are gonna do is I would have a sample glue job, which is essentially, you know, this job will generate some fake data and it will essentially perform an upsort into uh, Apache Hoodie more table type. I have essentially enabled, uh, if you see here, just wanna quickly show you. I have essentially, you know, uh, if you can see the metadata, I have set that to true. So I'm saying I wanna get the metadata, right? And then essentially I'm saying hoodie metadata index column stats enabled to true. So basically I've enabled those flags. Now what I'm gonna do is essentially I'm gonna start this glue job so that a, some sample fake data is inserted into hoodie more tables. And then I'll show you how we can submit a separate async job to index this, okay? So now what I'm gonna do quickly, uh, let me come to my screen. I'm gonna copy this code again, all the job does it, you know, it basically generates certain fake data and essentially performs an upsert onto hoodie more tables. So I'm coming on a glue console and uh, what I shall do is go to the job section, gonna paste here, click on save, and then I'm gonna run the job. Now this job can take up to, you know, about three to four minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and resume once the job is complete. So my job is finally complete. As you can see, my job is in the completed state. And here you can see on my S3, I have my Hori transactional data lake. 
now that we have a data lake now what we need to do is let's try to understand or let's basically learn how to submit an async indexing job right so now that you know the theory now you know what is metadata indexing what are the importance of that and basically why would you want to do async metadata indexing right in an async manner so now let's see how you can actually do it so i'm on my console again this code will be given to you so not to worry so it's pretty straightforward so here you can see um, that's my conf so i'm using hoodie utility bundle.jar i'm gonna submit this job on an on an emr serverless okay class as org.apache.hoodie.utilities.hoodie indexer we're gonna use that um, particular class again these steps are also given on the hoodie's website okay in case you know in case if you um, get stuck now on hoodie's website they have mentioned that first you have to schedule the indexing uh, once you schedule the indexing you will see a file called indexing.requested and then after that you can fire up a execute command so we're gonna do that in the similar fashion okay so in the arguments i'm defining the spark memory and the parallelism mode as schedule because on the website they have said first you have to schedule it this is the base path this is the table name and the index type i'm using column stats okay these are the settings that i'm using these, these are my hoodie settings so now what i'm gonna do is essentially i'm gonna submit the job again if you observe carefully on the website they have said you will see a file called index indexing requested so if i go to my data lake quickly i do not have a file called indexing requ requested here as you can see right now let's go to the emr and submit a job so i'm gonna quickly open up my emr actually first i'll submit the job so i'm gonna right click click on run the job has been submitted right so now if i go to my emr serverless quickly so here you can see and that's basically my job it's in the pending state i'm gonna resume the video once the job has been uh, uh, completed okay so i'm gonna resume once the job is complete now my job is in the running state as you can see uh, should be done in a second or two my job has now basically succeeded so now if i go to my data lake and if i refresh over here i have one file added and here you can see uh, if it's a little hard to see i'm zooming in i have a file called index indexing requested as it was pointed on the hoodies website now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna execute that so now again i'm gonna fire the same command but instead of mode as schedule i'm gonna basically pass an as an execute so again i'm gonna fire that again you can see the job has been fired back to my my emr if i go come here here you can see the job has been scheduled and soon it would be starting uh, it will be in the pending state and then in the running state and i'll pause the video here and resume once this is done uh, the status has changed so the job is now in the running state so should be done in about probably a minute or so again the main beauty of using emr serverless is i don't have to manage servers automatically i only pay for what i use so basically that's the beauty all the clusters everything is managed by aws server so again back to my console running here it, the job is still in the running state so probably this should be done in about a minute or so right so so i'll just wait here and here you can see all my configuration that i passed in again i'll leave the python code that i used to fire everything will be there on my gear up section in a readme file okay so coming back here on the console it's still in the running state but if i go to the data lake at this point right uh, I should see something called column stats. So uh, I should see those file coming in. Here you can see column stats folder. And here you can see these are the files basically generated by the job. So I think the job should have been completed by now. Still in the running state though. But again, now you can run this in a continuous mode or you can schedule it as well based on your need again, as I said. So coming here. Uh, meanwhile this is running i want to go to the website uh, quickly show you so again you can also run it in the del delta streamer you can run it in the continuous mode as well again they have a sample here so just wanted to make sure you you know about that so let me resume once this is done this might take about a um, couple of minutes so i'm gonna resume the video once this is complete so my emr job has succeeded as you can see and if i go to my uh, transactional data lake if i go to the hoodie folders Again, everything looks similar. If I go to the hoodie folder now, and if I scroll down and if I go to the metadata, 
there should be something called a folder called column stats and here you can see these files are essentially generated by those async job right so basically now uh, with this video you have a clear understanding of what is uh, metadata indexing in apache hoodie why would you want to do it and why would you want to consider consider doing it in an asynchronous mode uh, thank you very much for the watching the video i hope you have enjoyed if you have any further questions that i can help please let me know and as usual if i don't know um, i'll probably ask i'll learn myself and i'll let you know with that being said keep smiling keep programming all the code resources is on my get up section so make sure to check that out if you believe i've done a good job make sure to hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in the upcoming next video